return on capital employed or ROS is a financial ratio that measures a company's profitability in terms of its total capital, which states the profit as a percentage of the amount of capital employed. So therefore, ROS measures the overall efficiency of a company in employing the resources available to it. So there are two components required to calculate return on capital employed. So what are those? The first one is the earnings before interest and tax and capital employed. So why we have to take profit before interest and tax? Because that is the profit available to the equity and debt capital owners before distributing interest or dividends. So therefore, ROS is calculated by taking profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed times 100. So the capital employed means the shareholders equity plus long-term liabilities. Or in other words, we can say the total assets less current liabilities. So this is how we calculate return on capital employed or ROS. Now let's take this example and based on this information, let's calculate ROS or return on capital employed. You are given the income statement and financial position of a company. From these financials, what we need to do is we need to identify the two components. What are those? The profit before tax from the income statement and the total capital employed from the financial position. From the income statement, you can easily identify the profit before interest and tax, which is 417,500. So you can see operating profit uh, before interest and tax will be 417,500. So if you take the profit for the year, this is profit after interest and tax, which is 325,800. But we need to identify profit before interest and tax, which is 417,500. Then from the financial position, uh, we need to identify the total capital employed, which is nothing but the, the shareholders uh, total equity, which is 970,000 plus the long-term liabilities, or this is a total debt, 10% debentures, 100,000. So when you sum up these two, which will be 1 million, 70,000. So based on that, when you calculate return on capital employed, that will be, so this is a formula, profit before interest and tax divided by capital employed times 100. So we identified the, the, the profit before interest and tax as 417,500 divided by the shareholders equity the total equity is 970,000 plus 100,000 is a debt, uh, equity, uh, debt capital times 100. So that will give you 